Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of October. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages uh, could be there. Um, and although I am reading for October, uh, know that you can be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. So let's begin. I feel like we are dealing with an on off again relationship um, it could be an affair uh, because the devil is here or this could be um, just a relationship that is not healthy okay um, I feel uh, you, you feel this on off uh, type of energy going on here you it feels like you um are in or have been uh perhaps living with pain um so maybe this has been going on for uh for quite some time uh with the endurance card um you could be feeling uh or going through a very difficult painful um and lonely period um it's something that requires a lot of strength um there was an ending or a betrayal or a uh, an ending because of that um possibly uh i feel that it could have been third party or you were indeed the third party it could also be that you try to keep busy not to think about this because when you do it is very painful now uh, you are here being shown as trying to keep busy but your focus always drifts back to the situation that happened in the past somebody um, has put the distance between you and them this is that right now you're off uh, energy um I feel like uh, there, this person would have said something very stinging to you in parting. Um, I, I feel like you might think this is a soulmate connection, but it's not. It's an illusion, perhaps. Um of that but it's actually uh, an unhealthy uh, connection you're feeling the devil energy here the person you're dealing with um is false okay so um they uh, are very much self-serving um they're not who they appear to be and um they will do whatever it takes to get what they want i feel like uh, they can be like relentless when they're want uh, when they're after something so they could have per, per um, <laughs> how would i say they could have pursued you relentlessly to get you initially but then once they had you, um, it's like you were the putty in their hands, so to speak. And they manipulated you in, you know, many ways. It could be, um, yeah, you see you have a there's an obstacle between you and this person that is heavily on your mind that is preventing a healing from happening you're longing for this cup from this person you feel it's a soulmate but it's not it's just appearing um, to be this way you're stuck emotionally in the past um, on a past situation and you 
are going to need to rescue yourself here. Um, it's like you're waiting on this person to come um, to solve the problem, to help the situation. But um, you, you see, if they come back, okay, and most likely they will, it's just going to be more of the same. Nothing will have changed. And I think that you know that. Um, because you have, you see, this foreboding here about uh, a reality check having to do with a relationship or a decision on a relationship. Now, if they're married and uh, you're waiting for them to make a decision or were waiting for them to make a decision about their marriage, that's not happening. And I think that deep down at some level, you know it. This is a card of getting a reality check. Uh, paying attention or getting to the root of the problem here um, that you feel, like you feel really powerless when it comes to, um, to what is at the root. And that would be uh, most likely their marriage if... Um, if they are indeed married or like a marriage. And you uh, feeling powerless with, rega with regards to getting another chance. Um, indicating that you have put your power in this person's hands. You're letting them control the situation. When you actually need to get up and rescue yourself, they're saying. This is sitting in our overall energies because... Uh, what, th how, things are not as they appear. It, it, they never are with the devil. You're wishing for this person walked away and you're wishing for them to come back. And these cards are saying to be careful what you wish for. This person, I feel could be married and um, I feel like they look at the cup but they they have no intention of picking it up to, to like trade one for the other you're wishing for your prince to come back um, or princess, um, you want to taste of the forbidden fruit. You're facing a challenge because the feelings are not equal um, between you and the devil who feels like a soulmate. There is something that you do not see coming with this Ten of Swords. There's ten little swords hidden behind the bush here on this card. And this is a betrayal that you do not see coming. An ending. A decision to end things and I, I feel uh, that you know that is what is going to happen if you um, if you take a risk on this person again okay It's going to end in betrayal. Here's the new offer. Here they're telling you it's not going anywhere. There are obstacles that you do not see. This fool is uh, reaching down to smell of the rose, to pluck the rose, 
completely unaware of all of the dangers that surround that action. But he cannot see. He cannot see because his head is up in the clouds here. He cannot see that the Sphinx are down and not moving. That this chariot will not budge. Will not move. So, um, that is what I have for you. Think carefully because um, right now you're, uh, this is that on off again energy. This person will, I believe, come back again. And um, in fact, they will leave again. And it leaves you in this uh, constant pain living in, in, in this constant pain, not knowing how to get back what you've lost every freaking time, every time you'll relive the same thing in this uh, situation, in this love affair. You were selected by this wolf. And here, this is your reality check. You have the skull here in your overall energies, and you have it also here in the actual reading. This is a reality check on this situation. The person that you fell in love with was an illusion. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, um, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.